Hey everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last episode, we finished exploring the last areas in the Fetid Marsh, or at least I believe we did so. And then we came over here to Forsaken Island after finding a, a ferryman who would take us here, and it was Savannah located at Southgate Station, who was able to do so for the low cost of 200 Charons. Not, not so bad. When we arrived, we were looking for that giant behemoth, and we did not find it. Well, we found the remains of it here, but in particular, we found two magical girls here. And after talking with them for a bit, uh, it didn't go so well, the diplomatic uh, relations between Decker and them. Uh, they threatened to uh, kill Decker. Decker said, yeah, this is what I expected, and killed them. One rounded both of them in a single turn. The <laughs> first turn, and that was it. Uh, then off screen, I went, did, had, I went ahead and did a little bit of fishing. And so uh, just in case you're curious, all the fish you see here were fish I fished up here in Forsaken Island. So we can at least get these fish at this location. And now that that's done, let's go ahead and talk with Savannah and get out of here. Oh, right, we also found a that secret room here, which had the fossilized beast in it, and a three-point oddity item in it as well. Not bad. We are just over three-fourths of the way to another level, and I'm pretty sure we can get that before we head on down to Deep Caverns. Do you hear that sound, kid? It's... it's the behemoth! I'm done here. Let's get back. Finally! I hope you didn't leave anything important behind, because we're not coming back here, kid. I got everything. We can head back. You have to tell me twice. Hop on! Sail back to Southgate Station. Alright! Not bad. So that we're back here, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and head back to our home. We can drop all these fish off there. I probably should be spending a lot more time looking at what I'm going to be doing when I level up. If I if I want to take advantage of biology, then I'm probably going to need to drop 30 points in it next level so I can make jumping beans, which is the drug I really want to make for Decker. Increased. It's 10 more movement points, and I think it's... For a 20, 20 evasion and dodge for jumping bean, or maybe a little higher than that. And I, I really wouldn't mind. Oh, we have no juice. You got no juice, Tim. You're gonna have to take this. We're gonna have to walk back the. Uh, gonna take the long way back. And this won't be so bad. We'll go back. We'll get some juice. We'll buy more juice from the dude. And then what are we doing? We could go back to the Black Sea to explore some areas by the savages. Is there any other quest? Oh, there, we do have another quest to find, I think, someone out here. Uh, hold on, let's go to Core City. I think, uh, let's take a look at our quests that we've got from the Institute of Chort. What are we doing for them? For Second Island, deploy one T-Rail, T-Rail, we did that already. Okay, no, we don't have another quest to do something special up here. Okay. Uh, those two quests, when we turn them in, will probably give us four experience points. The preservation forces are probably another seven from Audis will find, and then three from turning it in. That's going to be 11. We'll still be short, so we'll have to find... But we'll, we will be coming back out here. Oh, what the heck is happening here? What's, what's happening here? We got Praetorian forces and Agri-Zoners. These people stink. Our kids are dying! Drop off Praetorians and Cortex Fat Rats and JKK Crooks. My guts have tied themselves in a knot from hunger. What's wrong with these people? Back to the zone, you. Ah. The poor people on the outskirts of the city are rising up. Or at least it looks like they're complaining. 
They want help and food, probably. Poor people. Yeah, so we're a little shy. I th maybe. Well, actually, no. We'll absolutely reach level 28 because we can do some quests for Aiden to get us leveled. But man, I would have wanted. I would have wanted jumping beans before I go down to deep caverns. If, if I'm interested in biology. Maybe we don't need 30 points. Maybe 20 points will be enough to make them. I think it's 40 total required to make a jumping bean drug. Uh, hold on. There we go. What does it, what does it require? It requires... I can't tell. <laughs> Should we require? 35 biology. Okay. Yeah, we could probably get by with 30 points in it then and get the other five from the from either the underreal pie combined with our workbench bonus will probably get us what we need let's lock you up it's actually better than I remember it being as well it's 10 movement points and 25% increase to dodge and evasion. I like that. That's a lot better than just 20 points. All right. Well, let's go ahead and... Sentry. Let's go ahead and put our... Our fish over here. Okay. So, all of you... Go there. We have some toxic waste... Add it to our other toxic waste, which we have a little bit of fungus. Put you there. Bullets. Scrap metal. Oh! I wanted to climb back up the tower. So we're going to do that first, before I forget. We're going to do that first before I forget. All right, so let's go ahead and get that done. So let's also put here. Everything's got to be sorted, organized. All right, there we go. We also, I guess we'll grab some juice. So when we're done with this, we can immediately go to the dude's house. Actually, I guess we can go to dude's house first. So I think my juice is in the freezer. Nope, it's in the refrigerator. It is. Oh my goodness, I have so much of it. That's perfect. Let's grab four of it. Okay. And let's do this. What would be the fastest way to get to Upper Under Ale? We didn't find any rift gates up there, to my knowledge. So it would be the entrance to Core City. And then we take the elevator up. And I'll oh, talk about random stuff again. Let's think here. When we left off, I think it was talking about Witch Hunt, right? That was another game I played this year for my channel during Halloween. And it was a... I, began to try, I talked a little bit about the fact that it was a... It's a survival horror game, but it's mostly... Uh, uh, I guess it's mostly survival than horror. There wasn't that much scary other than if you miss your shots against the things you're hunting in the game. Well, actually, no, there, there were some creepy parts of the game in the town in particular that occurred when you did certain things. No jump scares, but quite a few things that were odd. The woods was really well done, too. I really liked the atmosphere when we were walking around out there. I do wish there was more ways to hunt the creatures besides just a clairvoyance or, uh, yeah, that's right, clairvoyance in that game. Some way to see, like, their footprints would be around for a little bit of time or so on. But then again, some of the creatures that wouldn't make sense for, right? Like, uh, the third creature you hunt hovers above the ground. And actually, the, some of the later creatures hunt cr right 
They come right after you, rather than running away. They are looking for you to kill you out there as well. <laughs> the final boss battle could also have had less hit points, I think. Uh, reduce it by like 25%. Requires less pull-up shooting. That was, uh, that was pretty painful. That battle there. But overall, I liked it. I was glad to finish it. I don't know if I'll ever play through the game again. But it was good. I, I think I did enjoy that game. We played Jupiter Hell on my channel. I had intended to begin playing games that were space-themed for Halloween. I was going to play Dead Space over again, for example. Since I, since I think I took down my only Let's Play of it uh, earlier this year. And so I thought maybe Jupiter Hell would be a scary game. It looked like it was going to be uh, space marines fighting demons, and it was. But it wasn't a scary game at all. It was, it's a turn-based roguelike uh, game. And apparently it's based on a another game called Doom RL. And it was fun. I really liked it. There's been actually a few patches that have come out for it since then that have added additional weapons. I think one new creature who uses a new weapon, a, a grenade launching zombie, and lots of tweaks for balance, which I almost all agree with. And it was, it was great. Uh, I think we got to the end and we beat it twice and lost once, I think, is what happened for Jupiter Hell. It was, it was, it was phenomenal. I really, really enjoyed that game. I do like roguelikes, I just don't play them very often on my channel. Hello, we missed these remains entirely. Oh. Well, I guess we will take this side to saliva. Okay, and what we're what are we doing here? We're looking for also more coal. Yep. We left a few pieces of this here. Who told me? I think it was Lost Fremen. Told me that we had left some coal lying around. Yep, and we did down here. So we'll have plenty of coal for our trip up. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll, we'll grab this greater fusion cell while we're here. All right. So we want that vent shaft. I've left any more insectoid like saliva around. Holy crap, there's a ton of this around here. Can I actually hold on to both of these metal plates? Barely, but we can. Oh, no, we shouldn't do it. We'll just grab, how's my rounds? No, we shouldn't take either of those with us. All right, just in case we do find something worthwhile. All right, everyone, let's do this. Can't believe we're gonna do it again. I'm hoping the ice hasn't reformed and that we can just quickly get up here. All right, we know we don't wanna go down, we wanna go up. Up, 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 up as far as we can. We don't... I guess I'll, I'll take a quick peek into some of these places. Completely explored. Come on, Decker, get over there. We don't want hypothermia on you, you're dead. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Right, let's get ourselves warmed up, and then we sprint upstairs again. This should be a lot faster, because we don't have ice to worry about. And we should have enough coal to get us up there. With the 18 pieces of coal now, yeah, we, we should make it. And I'm going to remember to use Sprint a lot this time. All right, up we go. This is all ice I ignored last time. We should be able to ignore it again. This fire has burnt out, we don't care. We didn't search those barrels last time, so we did miss things. We're going 
to light this. Did we get... Did we get the quad modules? I think we did. We got one of them. Hold on. So that bot could have another. So we're going to we're going to we're going to fight it. It has an Audi item on it that we can benefit from. Or, that's right, it might. It might not. Yes! Two Audi experience points. Wonderful. Oh, where am I supposed to go here? Is it in this place? It is in this place. Um, do I want... No, that's probably going to free that bot. Okay, let's get that buff on us again. Decker, if you stand on this, I'm going to be so upset. Why are you standing on that? Fine. Light yourself on fire, as long as you can keep yourself warm. Nice, that was, so that was two more Audi experience points. That made the climb up here worth it. Industrial bots are normally found in the deep caverns. Uh, I think on higher difficulties, they can be found in these other spots. Uh, rather, they're, rather spots, what am I saying? You can find them in other locations that you wouldn't normally expect to meet them. But uh, otherwise, it's deep caverns on normal mode. And so getting that experience early really helps. That's probably practically now guaranteed we hit 28. Before, well, yeah, 28 before Deep Caverns now. Well, we didn't search everything here. There were a few barrels left around, apparently. Some pouch, discarded junk. The discarded junk. Uh, let's go ahead and warm up by the fire. Once we get the four butts, off we go. Let's quick save again. We should. I think we're gonna start getting the. sapped will uh, effect soon. Oh, I don't know. Did I search this? We did. A bag? Some stuff I think I... Nope, that's not... It wasn't junk, so we, we just... We didn't, didn't see that last time. We didn't search many of those barrels over there either. We just left them there. So we, oh, we want to search them. We're also taking damage, so we gotta end ourselves up a bit. And go, Decker. Nothing there. There's the debuff. Shattered Will. That's what it is. I'll, I will want to look inside. Whatever that was there. So let's uh, enter combat. Destroy these icicles.
Wow, we're not really benefiting from the fireplace that much. I forgot to pick up batteries as well, if that matters. Alright, let's come down here really quick. The chamber of this boiler has been something. We find a plasma core in it. We're gonna wanna heat up a little more. Actually, we should be fine. If we get the fourth tick, that's fantastic. Okay, here we go. Okay, we, we made it to the special location. This is this is as far as we got last time. Let's get that buff on. We searched all these lockers ready. And every single one of them was empty. There's the shattered will looking for us. Let's head back outside. Take a peek around. Oh, something actually walked into us with Shattered Will. There is, in fact, nothing here. I guess we can check that boiler really quick, but it looks like on this mode... Normal mode, there's nothing else here. Alright, and we can't interact with that at all, either. Alright, then we're done, everyone. Let's, uh... Let's reheat ourselves really quick. I've searched every locker, and all of them are empty. Every single locker. Alright, then we're done. Yeah, we can't go up any further, it looks like, here. On normal mode. Alright. But, still worth it. We, we verified that was the case. And, more importantly, we also found two oddity points there. Since I am now leaving for good, let's grab the metal. We'll go back to our home. Do some quick inventory management. Oh, I thought I grabbed the- I thought I grabbed- Ah! I thought I grabbed that fusion cell. Kind of weird. I thought, I thought I took that earlier. I guess I didn't. All right. So, uh, trap door. Trap trap door. All right. Yes. Yeah, so we, we head on home. We have two minutes left in the juice. It might be enough that we can get to a rift gate and zip back home really fast. can make some more bullets. Or at the very least, put the metal away. Thirty-nine seconds left. No, we don't we don't we won't have enough to make it back to a rift gate. Alright, so let's keep talking. So yeah, so Jupiter Hell was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed playing it. Uh, I really liked it. I thought the turn-based combat was great. The sound effects were, were good. I liked how uh, cursy the main character was. Really, really great. Really, really great game. I really enjoyed it. 
I, I felt the exact opposite playing that game compared to when I play Sword of the Stars to Pit. Sword of the Stars to Pit is just frustratingly awful uh, compared to Jupiter Hell, which I really enjoyed. The difficulty is a different type of difficulty. You don't get screwed by uh, the RNG as much, it felt like, in uh, Jupiter Hell. We played through Occult Chronicles, a game that I play every year around the Halloween season. It's also a roguelike game and has a more has more emphasis on text than most roguelikes that I've played have. Uh, we're going to the merchants every time. Uh, the issue with I well talk more about but wait like about the game. So I like the theme. The haunted house you find yourself in is really well done. Uh, I like. The references to pop culture in the text, there's a bit of humor scattered throughout the, the writings in it as also, which I liked. It's it's a classic for me. It was one of the few roguelikes I've ever played. And since I was one of the few people who uploaded it to my channel... Hmm, sorry, one of the people who uploaded it to YouTube, I always feel compelled to keep uploading it every year. Uh, I have some big issues with the game, though. It's not a very well-balanced game at all. The beginning portions are extraordinarily difficult. And if you do well in the minigame, which itself isn't that fun to play, how co every encounter uh, requires this card game to be played. And I really feel like it could have worked well if you got... If you got more cards in hand and more tricks on the table to at the start of the game, so you could make some closer choices, because the game kind of plays itself. It's difficult to explain the game if, if you're not watching it. So I would just reference you to watching someone play a, a Cold Chronicles on uh, YouTube if you want to see uh, what it was like. There, we no longer need any of this coal. I guess we can keep you there. Why do I keep having all these empty bottles on me? I don't remember picking these up, but I keep getting empty bottles all the time. Decent level plasma core that was inside that boiler up there. Oh! Uh, those are not very good, though. We'll leave these components here. I don't care about the plat. Oh, we can probably try selling it, I guess. Yep, so, a cold Chronicles. Fun for me, but only... Only for one run through the game. And only once a year. Uh, it... It begins to wear its welcome a little bit to me because most of the encounters you get are the same. You will encounter the same things every single time you play through the game. And so reading the text becomes something you kind of lose interest in. Uh, oh, I forgot I had these on me too. Let's put these away. You eventually just want to start playing the game, but the game itself, the mini game you play, isn't, as, as I mentioned, it's not, I don't find it that interesting, unfortunately. But overall, uh, on a scale of 1 to 20, I think I gave it an 8. <laughs> so, oh, uh, it's it's got a few charming bits to it, but again, uh, could be balanced a bit better. I Actually, I modded my game, so I could add additional options for some of the encounters. This way, it would encourage more uh, different play styles through the game. Oh, hello. I forgot I had both of you. And we're out of batteries, Tim. We need more batteries. Okay, let's go get some more juice from Dude. Really quick. Dude's home. Whenever I use juice in this game, if assuming it hasn't been an hour. Since the last time I used it, I will always swing by to buy more juice from Dude. Just to make sure I always have some on standby if I need it. 
And now I'm going to go back to Southgate Station, and I'm going to drop some of this juice off in our rift glider down here, in case we take it out again for some reason. I want to make sure I have some there. I'm pretty absent-minded, everyone, uh, with, like, I am. I always forget things constantly, <laughs> so, uh, if I can remember to, uh, ensure I've got stuff flying around for emergencies in case I've forgotten to get something, uh, I do so. Uh, this also affects me in video games, obviously. So, for example, here, uh, I don't have any juice in our reef glider, so I'm gonna leave two servings of it in here and I'll also leave one more fusion cell then let's go to the docks we'll leave some of these supplies I just picked up there and then I have to decide what we're doing next By the docks, I mean the docks in Core City. What was the other game you played, Tim? Consuming Shadows! I played Consuming Shadows uh, generally twice every year on my channel as well. It also uh, is a rogue... Well, it's, that was a rogue light because you make a little bit of meta progression to make your next runs through it a little bit easier. Uh, I've always liked the game. I think it's one of the few games that does the writing and the theme of a Cthulhuist like cult extremely well. Uh, since you're not fighting gigantic uh, creatures, except for the very, very end, we had to defeat the evil god who's trying to force its way into our world. Even then, it feel that felt more like Eternal Darkness than, uh, I don't know another game that would be similar to, I suppose, like, uh, the Chronicles of H.P. Lovecraft, I, I think it would be one, which is like a twin-stick shooter roguelite, if I recall correctly. But it's great. I like it. I like the writing. I think it's very thematic. It's very atmospheric. Uh, the sound effects were really good. I like the music in the game for the little bit of it it has. I wish that the sanity mechanic would work a little differently. That it was it could recover sanity a little more reliably. But overall, it's 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 a great game. I've always enjoyed playing it, and I it feels like something I should always upload to my channel at Halloween. One run through Occult Chronicles, two runs through Consuming Shadows. I think I've done that now for the past seven years for those games. Just wouldn't be Halloween if I didn't do so. We played through No One Lives Under the Lighthouse. I was attempting to find a new type of scary game to play for Halloween this year. And we found a few, right? We found Mondan, which was fantastic. We found Witch Hunt, which was great. And No One Lives Under the Lighthouse was, uh... It's a... How can I describe the graphics for it? Graphically, it's not the best game in the world, but it wasn't trying to do that. Uh, there's been this resurgence of, like, PlayStation 1-era-looking type of games. If you're familiar with, like, Alone in the Dark, it looks... That would probably be something similar to what I could describe the graphics for the game. But gameplay-wise, it was good. It was... There was, I think, maybe one jump scare, if that, in the game. Oh, I already have juice here. What is this? Oh my god! I have the industrial powered exoskeleton here! Let's take that with us. To get it out of this, uh, this jet ski. And we'll leave another... One of that here instead. Okay, let's go back to our home and drop this power armor off. The 25 extra weight on the jet ski for something I probably won't be using is a little too much on a jet ski. I don't want to be slowed down that much. I love zipping around on the waterways on jet skis. Never ridden a jet ski in real life. I get motion sickness on the ocean. And so I'm not sure I would enjoy it very much. I get motion sickness on roller coasters too. It's just too much for me. I have to be- I have to be in control of what's happening, and what I'm on top of can't be doing anything on, on its own. Like, I can't be on moving water. 
<laughs> makes me, that makes me a little bit too wobbly. Uh, back to the gates with us. Yeah, so the Woodlands of the Lighthouse, it was good. It was very... Uh, the gameplay describes it as a slow burn horror, which uh, translated to a lot of it was... There was a great amount of theme going on. Like, at, the atmosphere was fantastic. And you were worried about what was going to happen a lot more often than things... Uh, that's the wrong way to phrase it. Uh, it kept you on your toes, but didn't... Uh, didn't throw any punches at you for most of the game. But I was fine with that. I really liked the theme of it. And the few times it did so was rather nicely done. It had an interesting way of the creatures chasing you. Because you saw out of the creature's eyes. And you still had to move your own character while you did so. I went and watched a few other people play through the game. And I've seen that there are quite a few new, uh, different endings compared to the ending we got in the game. Uh, and some of them are miserable endings. Like, very... We got the best ending, arguably, for the game. Many other folks got... Uh, well, it wasn't as good for them. But it was good watching them. I'm glad they added so many of them. I wonder if there was... There's like seven... Six or seven different endings for the game. I wonder if there's a way... Sorry, there's a way. I wonder if there's something special you get for being the game in all, every way imaginable. Yeah, but that, that was that was great. That was absolutely great. I had a lot of fun talking in that one I, as well. I was trying to be funny. I was trying to play my, my main character like someone who was trying to come up with reasons why horrific things were going on and why it wasn't a concern, but it totally was a concern uh, for him the entire time. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. What are we doing? Uh, we're going to the Black Sea really quickly. So I can look at my glow. And make sure it's got things in it as well. Juice in particular. And then, I guess since we are back out here... We can look at our map briefly and see if there's anything we want to... Explore that doesn't involve slaughtering sav savages. There is. There's the pirates. And the strange obelisk up there. That's going to be quite a fight. All right, we do have juice here already. All right. Let's leave one of our fusion cells here. We'll leave another juice. And did I not explore anything? There's a few spaces over here we haven't explored. So we can do that. I don't think I can. Uh, I guess we'll leave that K7 there. Oh, and I... Looks like I didn't fully explore... Maybe I didn't fully explore the spider caverns. It feels like there should be more connecting over here. Okay. Let's... Let's kill some pirates. What were other games? Oh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Right. It had been an age since I last played through that game. And earlier this year, I had begun deleting all... Many of my old videos and playlists that were made prior to like 2015... 2016... Began, I began deleting them from my channel. They were awful. I cannot stress enough how bad they were. Uh, I've left a few videos up. There might be like one entire playlist from, a, from something ancient on my channel. I think I left my original Ultima Underworld. Up. But otherwise, almost everything else has been taken down off my channel. The videos were awful. 10 minute, 8 minute long videos. 360, 240p. 
where I had voice problems with them as well because I was lazy to check out my voice recording settings and I was using a flimsy headset for the entire thing rather than an incredible Blue Yeti microphone like I've been using for the past six years. Just terrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> and I, I wouldn't want someone... So originally my intention was, well, just leave them up. You know, people can watch them or they, or, or they can't or, or they won't. That, that That's fine. But now I'm like, no, I don't want someone to find one of my videos and really like it, only to find an older video of mine and be like, oh, this is just awful. And so I took them down. It, they weren't getting any traction anyway. No, no one was watching any of those old videos. God, so many problems with the recording as well. I These days, I spend some time, like maybe about 10, 5 minutes whenever I get done recording one of these videos to check it to make sure that my audio settings are correct. I'll fire up a game after I've been using like Zoom or Discord or the Steam audio to make sure that that program did not mess with my audio settings because in the past I wouldn't bother checking. So if it increased my audio or decreased it, I wouldn't realize it until I uploaded the video to YouTube. And then either someone would tell me, Tim, your audio is awful, or I would watch it on YouTube like, oh my god, my audio is terrible. And then I'd have to take the video down to uh, re-record that part. But see, I'm spending more time making sure my, my video quality is acceptable. In games like Lobotomy Corporation, which I am recording... Uh, obviously, or maybe not so obviously, if you did or did not know that. Uh, I'm recording my voice as I watch certain parts of that video, and when I'm done, I have to tweak the audio between when I was talking in-game and when I was watching it to make sure that they're on the same levels. And now I use uh, Audacity to help me adjust levels. I'm using more features in Virtual Dub to interleave, or sorry, interweave the different audio uh, files into the game, adjusting when they play and so on to make sure nothing is... Uh, I don't have any audio delay going on and so on. I'm putting more and more time into the whole YouTubing thing. But I'm hoping that the quality of what I upload has been... I mean, I think it's. I think it's. Been, I think it's better. <laughs> I hope. Hope you guys have noticed it's better too. <laughs> All right, let's go back. So, Vampire the Basketball Bloodlines. So, yes, it had been an age that I played through it, and I was in the mood to play a game as usual on Halloween, which is Halloweenish themed. So, creepy, spooky, involves vampires or horrific creatures chasing you and killing you, and so on. And for that game. Uh, we were one of those creatures, kind of, right? We're a vampire, but we're new to the vampire World of Darkness world. And it was fun. Oh my goodness. I It was the first time I played through the game with a vampire who was not a Mulcavian and not a Nosferatu. I've played through with the Mulcavian five times. And with the Nosferatu, once. I never played through the game with a normal vampire. And so that was fun. Uh, to see what that was like. Did I really reach through the wall to get that? Oh, it must have been on the other side of the wall. Alright, hold on everyone. So, uh, let's get a little focus here. So, we're gonna have a huge pirate battle in this room right here. So, let's get ready for this. Shield up, morphine hat, and in we go. Alright, let's do this. So we, first off, we want a spot where we can fight and they can't pin us. Because we're going to have to fight a ton of these guys. And just now, I wish I had a, something different on my hotbar. Uh, I'm going to do something I normally don't do, and I'm going to reload really quick, just so I can set my hotbar up differently. Uh, 
Okay. Let's actually prepare for this. So, we will have eel sandwich as our food. We will recharge our shield. Uh, as long as I'm doing recharging, we'll also charge our hacksaw. I will take a plasma grenade and the flashbangs. Everything else I think is fine for us. Okay, we're set. We also shouldn't take morphine until our shields are depleted. Actually, or see a sniper, in which case, uh, a popper? A popper or pinner. All right, let's do this. So we want to, again, f preferably f uh, gain cover or get out of line of sight. So let's open this up. Okay, and there is nothing in here. He'll shout for help, that one guy we saw, and come on down charging us. That's a dome banger, right? Yep. Oh! Oh! Oh, thank God it missed. All right, we have a pinner. And Senda. Okay. We're actually going to uh, move up all the way here and use bullet time. absolutely need to kill that pinner. Chalice, Donnie, Ruth, Sprayer, and Blade Slick. Let's expose weakness. Switch our bullets. Switch our bullets again. I don't know where their snipers are, so we're going to sprint around the corner. Girl, I like your shorts. That's a cute tunic you got, but you're... Oh, pit bulls. We can worry about them in a bit. Sorry, Senda. By the seat that went deep. We want to be able to dash around the corner with the least amount of move of points. Expenditure as possible. All right, the pit bull needs to go next. We really don't want to have to worry about fighting that. You're good for nothing but fish chomp. You're good for putting you down, a stormer. So those are assault rifles. Uh, we gotta move up that far to shoot her. Let's let them get a little closer to me. We'll dash inside this building and reload. Two pit bulls, a shotter, and a stormer over there on our right. Chalice and a stormer approaching from the north. Nothing from the east. They are in a great spot for a plasma grenade. I don't know why I have to move up to throw it, though. Uh, all right, that's a... That will be good. Nice! Oh, my God! I am amazing. And so lucky that almost all the grenades we're throwing are always landing where I want them to. 
Ah, it's gonna leave a mark. Sorry, Chalice. Ah, uh, using an assault rifle. We don't have action points to use some drugs. We'll just run over here. Chucker. Chuckers have grenades. EMP grenades are amongst the type that they that they have. Let's move up. Bullet time's still on cooldown, Tim. I'm gonna try to flashbang them. going to slow down the pit bull. Actually, no, that's that's dumb. There's no reason to do that. Let's try to see if we can get into this structure. I don't know if I can kill the looter quick enough, but we'll, we'll try. Actually, Tim, you're going to get only two shots off on him. He's not heavily armored. Let's switch to these rounds. These rounds meaning uh, JHP and get out of line of sight. Move up here, another blade slick. Uh, we definitely want the pit bull dying next. Chucker next. We can. Load standard rounds. Move it here to avoid line of sight. I think the Stormers have metal armor on them. So let's switch to these rounds. Back to standard, and we can't fire again. A looter and Donnie. Uh, poor Donnie. We're gonna kill him. Doesn't matter. Let's run around the corner to get out of line of sight. Look at his portrait. I like that little smirk he's got. I don't know what type of weapon you have, Donnie, but it's not going to matter very soon. Because you're never going to get a chance to fire it. I thought I saw one more left. A single looter. Wow. Wow. Man, why am I so obsessed with leveling before Deep Caverns? I don't think we're going to have any issues down there. So, with Decker, with Decker, I need several... I, I don't think I can one round chort when we get down there. I don't think that's going to happen. But man... It, if we could one round them, that'd be incredible. I think it's gonna take two rounds to kill Chort. At the rate where, at the, what I'm seeing, Decker is extremely efficient, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna take two rounds. All right, well, now we can, I can do this off screen. Let's do this off screen. So I'm gonna search all these corpses, everyone, but I will do it off screen. Give me a few seconds. I'll let you know if I got any IE items off these pirates. All right, everyone. Quite a few eye patches on them, but we can't, we couldn't benefit from any of them. We've already studied enough eye patches that we don't get any more uh, Audi points from them. So let's go ahead and search the rest of their base while we're here. And then I guess we'll wrap it up because we've been playing for like an hour. Uh, we've next episode we'll climb up the rock face to get to that strange pylon. 
We will have to fight our way through several more pirate infested areas, but it should be a lot of fun to slaughter them all. And then we can double check to see if there are any Adi items in their base at all that we could that we could actually benefit from. I don't remember if there was anything over here with Gabriel, and in particular that's because Gabriel was a classic experience point person. We have a pit bull left, by the way, Tim. Yeah, he was classic experience point, so if there was anything really super unique here, I wouldn't remembered it. I would not have remembered it. There we go. Any of that garbage. Okay, I don't know why you're sitting there just barking, but we're gonna kill ya. Nothing in that little area. Maybe that one's wounded or something. Poor, poor pit bull. He wasn't allowed to leave. He is allowed to bark, just in case you're trying to sneak through the base. I guess you could try to stealth through the pirate base to do all this without f combat. If you were hostile with them. I've heard you can join the pirates in the DLC. Uh, I have not done so yet with any character of mine. They have all joined Aegis Incorporated. I just feel too guilty backstabbing Aegis. And there's, to my knowledge, you cannot get a jet ski for the DLC unless you initiate uh, going over there through Aegis Incorporated. Maybe... What? Why are you still alive? Did you join your friends? Well, now you're dead. Do we have anything on you? A little bit of money. Alright, nothing nothing else here. Yeah, you, you've got to, to my knowledge, you have to take the H Incorporated ferry over there to start the DLC, the Black Sea. I don't care about bullets and shells. Alright, that's it for this area. So, do we want to stop here? Yeah, I think we'll stop here. So, what did we do this episode? We... We got back to Southgate Station. We did a bunch of inventory management. Oh, that's awkward. We climbed the tower again and found two Adi experience points going up there. We then came over here and cleared out the pirate base. Or cleared out more of the pirate base. And we'll finish out the pirates in the next episode. We'll head up here, over here, and make our way up to that pylon. I guess there's probably a spot over here too we'll search. Again, we need Adi items. I don't know where they are, so we're going to need to search every inch of the pirate base looking for them. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching this, everyone, and take care.